And now we return for a brief moment to my most least favorite zone in the history of the Long Dark, affectionately known around these parts as Miserable Valley. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Against All Odds series. We are on our way out of Timberwolf Mountain. We're at the end of the day. We are well stocked. We have. We are going to have to drop some things in order to get down the rope, but uh, we are fairly well rested, thanks to coffee. And we are going to make our way through Pleasant Valley relatively quickly with this episode. I would like to kind of make sure that I haven't overlooked any of the areas in the back of the zone that I haven't fully explored yet, but at the same time, I'm going to be doing that while moving in a definite direction so that we don't linger in that godforsaken place for too long, because... It's Pleasant Valley, and it's actually not that pleasant at all. As the friar jokes about in uh, Pastor, Friar? I guess Pastor is more appropriate. As the pastor jokes about in uh, episode three. Whoever nicknamed this place Pleasant Valley, it's a pretty good sense of humor. All right, so I don't know why I'm picking up sticks. I'm going to have to go down that cliff in just a moment. So we're going to have to drop most of those. Matter of fact, may as well just drop them now. We, we won't waste quite as much energy being encumbered. Day's almost over, so part of me wants to just rest indoors for a moment and hope that we have decent weather. Here we go. And hope and pray that we have decent weather. Feels like 19 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not even that cold at the moment. When we depart in the morning. The only thing is that, again, I'm... I'm pretty well rested, so there's an argument for just moving. The only thing is that I would need to at least light a fire, pass some time, and the weather would have to be nice to me, because I couldn't handle bad weather and a nighttime stroll through Pleasant Valley. I, I feel like that would be, and given this the snowflakes we're seeing falling right now, that might not be the best idea I've ever had. I may just have to find a way to uh, get through the night. Just pass some time. 60 episodes deep, by the way. This is number 62. Forgot to mark that in the 60th episode. Super happy about that. We'll check our survival timer in just a moment. We're probably approaching 80 days. So we may well, before this is over, depending on how... You know, if there's a few episodes where I pass multiple days or I'm traveling, we may well get 200 days in this playthrough as planned. It wasn't necessarily looking that way because of how miserable this particular zone was treating me, but you never know. Okay. Now, I believe I fully searched this place the last time I was here. Oh, look! Clothes that I can tear up for more cloth. Nice. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, all right, so we've got the snow pants, we've got the wool long johns. Yeah, we're so much better equipped than we were before. I'm wearing the trail boots. Yes, I know, I'll acknowledge again, I know that those um, insulated boots on the top of the mountain were significantly better, but I just, I don't like the, the limit that they place on my sprinting. I don't. It's just a gameplay preference. I know that uh, it's kind of a, it's a give and take, and there's argument that there's more give than take, but, um, well or more take than give, depending on your perspective of whether you're the giver or the taker in this particular situation. But the point is, there's an argument that maybe there's more benefit to wearing the shoes than, you know, leaving them behind. But the shoes themselves are pretty heavy, and they, again, they're very restrictive of movement. And I like to have a nice full sprint meter for those moments of panic. I know I mentioned that before, but um, I do acknowledge that that's one gear item I have. This is probably my least well-equipped Area. The other thing I could do is make some rabbit skin gloves, since I have so much rabbit skin now. Um, that might be worth a visit back to the farmstead, although I really don't want to do that, to grab some things. Where did I... Now I'm thinking. Did I leave any hides or anything at the... Um, or guts, for that matter, at the new town? Because I could totally stop by there on my way out. That's not far. I'll have to think about that. But for now, let's see what I can get away with here. 
I don't think I need to repair anything. I don't know that there's really anything that I can do to pass time. I mean, I can definitely repair these climbing socks. With some of the cloth that I have on me. I can definitely repair this balaclava. About to lose our daylights. Interestingly, I was talking last episode about how that is the moment when you see those triangles go over kind of the horizon, the triangles on the exact sides of the sun, how that's the moment that the day begins and you have light. But it's not that way when you lose the light. It's not. The way it works for that is that the sun has to go completely down. Okay. Now this is going to take 25 minutes. I bet I can get away with it. Altogether, we're probably only gaining about a degree or two from these repairs, but there it is. Okay. So now we are in for the night. A little bit more tired than I expected to be. That's good. All right, over here by the bed. Let us drink a cup of herbal tea. Come to think of it, it was pointed out to me. Let me look at this. It was pointed out to me a uh, nice. Yeah, it was pointed out to me a little while ago that the improved rest modifier doesn't start ticking down immediately, and that's something I should have known. But these meters haven't always been there to make that really super clear. So that's one little nuance that I wasn't aware of. That the improved rest will wait for you until you rest. I think I made a comment two or three episodes back that you know, indicated I wasn't quite aware of that. And it's true, I wasn't. So I appreciate the person who pointed that out. One of the perils of having played this game a lot more back in the early days of early access and having less time to play it in more recent years. So let's see. Do I just sleep for as long as I can? I do want to make sure that I... See, I don't have any water on me right now. That's the issue. So I can't... I can't just sleep... I, I can step outside. Yeah, I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. As long as I can find some limbs nearby, I have an idea. Break down that crate. Oh, there's another hacksaw. I could use this. I'll take it. Could come in handy. There's another storm lantern too. Let's step outside. Now, I could break down that crate, but there might just be sticks and, and limbs and stuff, because I imagine there's been at least a little bit of weather. A little bit of weird weather since we were here last. It was like 19 degrees. This limb, this fur limb, I can probably chop up without getting my feelings hurt too much. Hypothermia risk just hit. Let's start a fire over here. Nice oh good, there's cedar firewood sitting right there. Oh, if I had known that, I wouldn't have even done that. That wasn't necessary. Okay. 100% start chance on a fire striker and cedar firewood with no tinder. I will take it. Holy crap. That's amazing. And makes me happy. Come on, little fire. It does. It makes me happy. Add fuel. Right, and there's a cooking pot on top of this thing from before. So what I'm gonna do is I can't feel my hands. Oh yes you can, you're fine. We're gonna get a fair amount of water out of this fire, and then I'm gonna go back in and go to sleep at that point. And we'll be in good shape. I didn't need to put all that wood on the fire, but it's okay. It, well, in actuality, I probably did, because it's pretty cold. All right, so 39 minutes till that's melted. Let's do this first. Let's drink that. Ooh, it got a little brighter. Oh, no, we have a blizzard. Fun. Still feels plenty warm where we are, which is good. All right, we need 42 more minutes of this. I can get away with that. Let's drink it. 
Perfect. I'm gonna pick this up. I'm gonna take the cooking pot too. We might have to do a little bit of uh, picking and choosing what we're carrying before I leave. Let's step back inside, escape this lovely blizzard that's just started up. Hopefully it'll mostly be gone by morning. It's really good timing actually, because if it is gone by morning, then we might have decent weather to do the things, the exact things that I would like to do this episode in order to get through Pleasant Valley. We need to get all the way back to Milton in order to get to Hushed River Valley, from what I understand. Okay, so let's take a quick look at... I will go ahead and eat one of these MREs. That might top off my thirst perfectly. Beautiful, and it's not even fully gone. Still has 443 calories on it. Very good. Let's sleep for, again, we're not going to go for 10 hours. Nice. We are fully rested. The sun is up. The weather sounds good. And we don't even have that much stuff on us, all things considered. I'll take it. That's phenomenal. Let's, let's drink this water. All right. One last look at my inventory. Oh, what are you doing? Get out of my inventory. Okay, I've got some medical teas in the off chance that I need them. Yeah, the cooking pot is a little bit of extra weight. That's not gonna help a whole lot. I'm not that encumbered. I'm going to stick with what I've got for now. Well, there's one thing I can definitely do, and that's eat the samari. Oh, glorious. Feels like negative five, so it's cold as hell. Who's surprised? But... Let me take one more look around here. Yep. Just making sure. All right, so when I came in before, I came from that direction. So this time we're going to hang a left. Also because that's generally the way back. Get off this slope prefer not to sprain my wrist or my ankle right now. I'm going to hug the back of the zone a little bit. So imagine that we are in the very north area of the zone right now, for the most part, kind of north central. So what we're now going to do is stay along the top wall and go east. generally the idea. Watching, of course, for furry woodland friends as we go. But there's at least one area here. It's a campground. And I think I'm heading toward it. My knowledge of, like, making my way exactly around the back of Pleasant Valley off the top of my head is not very good. Well, that might be it. This... That bench... I think we're there. Okay. Plus, I believe there's a cave there. Is there or is there not? I think there's one right there, yeah. This is exactly where I was hoping to go, but I don't... Is that or is that not a cave? Yes, that's a cave. Okay, so... Tell you what. I don't want to lose condition unnecessarily. There are lots of sticks laying around here, enough to start a fire inside the cave and warm back up for a minute before we go anywhere. But this is exactly where I wanted to go, and I immediately found it. 
to like negative three, so it's warming up a little bit too, which is really quite nice. Whoa, this is... What? Hang on. It's an interior cave? Where does it go? Oh, now I'm thoroughly intrigued. Is this... We're just gonna walk through it and see where we come out, but... I don't remember a cave... or any access point... in the back of Pleasant Valley... leading anywhere of consequence. There. Ah, coal. Nice. I wanna pick up too much. I'm already over-encumbered slightly, and I'm kind of lugging that cooking pot around. Aha! Okay, so there are some things laying around here. Looky what we found. Survival bow. Hang on. I don't need the scrap metal. Advanced gun. Okay, so this this is what I was expecting to find. Hey, look, guys. Revolver ammunition. For everyone that was freaking out about me dropping that revolver ammunition, there you go. It's, the stuff is everywhere. All right, so... <sighs> See... If I have a survival bow now, how much does it weigh? Only a pound? I'll take it. Simple arrow? I'll take it. Alright, well, I can't recall if this goes anywhere. How encumbered am I? Really encumbered. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's partly the sticks, but I don't need the sticks anymore. Yeah, I picked all those up. I don't want to drop any coal. Also, the book is not helping my situation too much. It's mainly the, uh... Hmm. Yeah. The, the revolver ammunition added a little bit to it as well, as you would expect. Okay, so maybe this doesn't lead anywhere. Or maybe it does. Hang on. Hold that thought. <laughs> so much for getting straight through Pleasant Valley in one episode. I'm all intrigued and wanting to explore. I don't know where this goes. What's that? What's that? What's happening? What is this? This is an ice cave. I haven't been in an ice cave yet. Hang on, let's search this corpse. Alright, now... I really want to know what's back there. But... If I go through that water, that's going to be real trouble. So, Jennifer, I apologize momentarily for the indecency. Actually, I, I didn't mean to drop all that. I just meant to take to take them off. Yeah, let me make sure I didn't. What I meant to do was just take that stuff off. No, not a flare. Where's my lantern? There we go. It's getting excited. I know. Relax. Okay. Wear that. And we'll just leave the rest of the stuff off. And this is gonna suck, but we're gonna do it. Yeah. Hypothermia risk. Yay. Alright, so now I should be able to put everything back on. I don't know if I will actually be in better shape. Now, hang on. What's the better item to have on the outside? Oh, I can't have any other item on the outside. Never mind. Never mind. We're warming up now. Got a bit of a sprain risk at the moment, but okay, so what's back here? Peanut butter? Mm. Okay. Thoroughly ruined, but I can still eat that? <laughs> I 
We're gonna leave the revolver. See, another bit of, all right. Everyone that freaked out about the revolver ammunition can now officially hush and zip their lips because there's no reason. All right, so this, okay. We definitely found back here in, in the form of that book what I was expecting to find, but we found some additional stuff as well, which is really quite nice. I kind of want to hang out here and just read that book and kind of burn through some supplies. I don't have a, I don't have the firewood to get through 10 hours unless I go back and get my sticks and pick up some other sticks from within the cave, which I can totally do. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, now that we know that the clothing trick definitely works, Thank you, Athenon. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna take off. Oh good, we can double click. Okay. I'm gonna take that off too, because evidently that um, still gets soaked. Alright. Cool. There's only one option for each slot, of course, right now, so all I have to do is double click and everything adds back up. Very, very nice. Okay. So now we'll get the lantern back out. Right, so there's plenty of coal around. The coal will probably help me get the fire going as long as I need to. So we're going to walk around in here, grab some more firewood. There's some right there. Start a fire. There's some more coal, I think. Yep. Very nice. Two more pieces. Yeah, well, we're fine on fire length. I just want to get back towards the door. We're going to read through that whole book. It's ten hours, right? Or is it more than ten? Ooh, we could be here a while. <laughs> uh, I'm glad we came. This, this is exactly where I wanted to go. It's the place I wanted to find. I just didn't think that I'd find it this quickly. Grab all this, because I'm about to burn it anyway. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. I know, my dear. It's ridiculous. Shame on me. Putting you through all this. How could I? Alright, how about I start a fire over here by the plastic? Because that definitely wouldn't lead to any problems in a sealed cave. Fire striker and cedar firewood. There's that. Yeah, we've officially gained back probably most of the revolver. I don't remember how much revolver ammunition I dropped exactly. I might have dropped 40 rounds because I had 80, I think. I dropped half of it. So we gained back 20 right there. And that's just in one zone. The stuff is everywhere. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just pile all this on the fire. Not the advanced guns, guns, guns. All right, now that's a nice hot fire. That's going to dry the, <laughs> the moose hide satchel off real quick. But now that I have this fire, let's see how much time I need. It's, yeah, it's a 25 hour book, forgot about that. Okay, well, let's look at my meters and do this five at a time. Thirst-wise, we need a little bit of love. Now the peanut butter, I will go ahead and eat. And why don't I drink one of these coffees too? Just one. Fire should still have plenty of time on it. I might need to go hunting for more coal if I really want it to last the entire time. I've already got eight more pieces I can throw on there. Hold on, let me... Let me go looking for a moment longer. Even just more coal would be enough to justify keeping it going. I don't necessarily need to find wood. I think that's where I came in. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Oh, I'm so confused. Like, this is where I came in. So where does that go? Where does the other path lead? Hang on, 
There might be something combustible down here. Okay, this looks like... No, it's not a dead end. Holy crap. Okay, more coal, which is really what I was looking for. Oh, we're at the 25-minute mark already. Hmm. Oh, sticks. Very good. Oh, wait. Maybe this just goes in a circle. Why did I hear water in that direction? Okay, yeah. So this this is this does go in a circle. So I'm going to go back this way. This is going to lead me toward my fire. I think maybe perhaps who knows <laughs> yeah beautiful it just goes in a circle yay for exploration all right so let's do five more hours on that book and then i'm gonna have to get some rest in just so that i can have a stopping point for this episode and publish an episode on time today because <laughs> i'm looking at the clock going ah, i should probably stop recording so i can actually upload let's see Five hours research. Yep. All right, now. Let me just sleep for, hang on, one hour. Regain just a bit of condition in the process, I'll bet. All right, 80 days, 4 hours, 31 minutes. Not bad, we got 20 days to go. Whether we go the whole time, we'll see. I mean, we're going to Hush River Valley now, I might well die. But it'll be fun to uh, to kind of see how far we can make it uh, with this particular run. And that seems to be the direction in which we are heading. We're going to keep going through Pleasant Valley in the next one. Probably leave pretty quickly now that I've found the spot that I really wanted to find and has given me more than I thought it would. So, uh, including the bow, by the way, which is a huge find. But uh, I'll go ahead and stop this one here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.